Hey, superstars, it's your best friend, Scott, and happy Marker Doodle Monday. Um, I wanted to take a little break from the commission list and live in the moment this week. It's an exciting time for baseball. We had the MLB draft start last night and the All-Star game this week. And probably the most fascinating story in baseball this year is the meteoric rise of Pirates pitcher Paul Skeens. This stuff is wild. Uh, Paul and his beautiful mustache were the number one pick in the 2023 baseball draft just last year. And uh, he shot through the minors like a bat out of hell. And then he made his major league debut in May of this year. And that didn't phase him at all because he was selected to the 2024 All-Star Game this week, which he slated to start. Um, Sounds like some sort of crazy, unbelievable Hollywood plot to me. But there's no real conflict here. Maybe the conflict is the Pirates fans uh, suffering through a slew of bad years and bad decisions. They're great fans in a great city with a great ballpark, and they deserve this kind of superstar. Last Monday, we did the Ricky Henderson marker doodle, um, and that was the first one where I sold out of my custom cards, and it sold out really fast, so I must be doing something right, or you guys are just awesome. I cannot thank you guys enough for all of your support you're giving me with these. Um, I would think this one would sell well too, but you never know. Uh, Link is in the description below, of course. I did end up selling the original art already to my best friend and pirate super collector, Math Bowler, so thank you, Steven. So we're almost done here and I wanted to talk about some of the decisions I made with this. I thought about putting Paul in a classic pillbox pirate's hat with that pullover jersey, but Skeens looks like he's from the early 80s already and I wouldn't want people to think that I was, you know, drawing Rick Roden or something. There's not much of a market for Rick Roden custom cards, I think. And uh, then I thought about putting him in a City Connect, but I went with a classic home uniform here because that is what he wore in his Major League debut. And um, I threw the Clemente bridge in there. I tend to put those big swoopy shapes in my backgrounds to sort of highlight the subject. And the bridge and those curves, they kind of do that. And when I was going to art school in Pittsburgh, I walked across this bridge every day. So I have very fond memories of it. It's like part of my metaphorical hippy dippy artistic journey or whatever. Alrighty, there's Mr. Skeens. I love, love, love how this one turned out. Go check out the Etsy store if you want to try to get your hands on one of these cards. Hopefully he has a great all-star appearance and second half of the season. Um, I guess that's it. Uh, Thanks so much for watching. Now go find a better video to watch and we'll see you real soon.